Thank you, Tony. Thousands of high school students across the nation are standing up to gun violence today by walking out of class. And students at several local schools marched out of class this morning. Now this movement coincides with the anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh breaks down today's events live from the mobile newsroom. Kate. Steve and Caroline, for many students, this week is school vacation week, but not for those at the Gordon School, a private school in East Providence. Instead, today was all about a day of action. For the younger students, that meant learning that their voice can make a real difference. And for the older students, it meant walking out of school. How many more? Mass shootings have been a concern in our school since before these fifth through eighth graders were even born. On the 19th anniversary of the Columbine school shooting, these young students from the Gordon School in East Providence joined thousands across the country for National School Walkout Day. We just have to keep doing this over and over until uh, something changes. Um, myself as a student, it's really tough. It's like... Am I nuts? Around 10:30 Friday morning, as many as 150 students walked out of the school chanting and, and reading the names of each of the 17 people killed in the most recent mass school shooting in Parkland, Florida. This was followed by a moment of silence and a poem. 2,920 tomorrows are killed each year in the U.S. alone. Eight years worth of tomorrow's. Eighth grade humanities teacher Gabe Bernstein said the students organized it all. He just gave them the time to do it. They're peering over and looking at adulthood, and they're they're tuned into what's going on in the world, and they don't want to sit on the sidelines. These kids, they want to, they want to use their voices and, and play a role to make change. These students standing in solidarity with high schoolers across the country, all demanding youth be more politically active, and lawmakers come up with a solution to gun violence. That humanities teacher told me the students were inspired to participate in this nationwide movement today after coming back from a school trip to Alabama where they spoke with the original civil rights activists who said they were about their age when they first decided to take action. I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.